In this video, you will learn how to create a dripping text animation in After Effects. And to create the dripping text animation, we are going to be using an effect known as a CC smear or smear or smear. Anyways, you can use this effect to create a dripping animation on any object in After Effects. So, without much further to do, let's get started with the video. In After Effects, this is the text that I'm going to use. I'll move to Effects and Presets, then I'm going to search the CC smell. Then I'll double click to add it to the layer. Immediately as I add in the effect, you see that it starts taking place on top of the text. And one thing you should note is that it has two main values that are going to control the dripping effect. The first here is from. This is the pointer here indicating from. And the second pointer here, that is to. So if I move this downward, you see that the value of these two was changing. Then from, I can position it somewhere around here. And the two, I'll position it here. So that it's directly under this R here. After positioning the two main points, we need to animate it. And to animate this, we are going to be using this switch property. I'm going to press E so that the effect that is applied to this layer will be shown. Then I'm going to open this, set in the first keyframe for the reach. Then I move about two seconds ahead and set in the second keyframe. Back to the first keyframe, I'm going to bring this down to zero. For the second keyframe, I'm going to set this value to 1000. I want to play this, you see how it will drip out. What I'm going to do next is to add in the drip effect to all of the letters. Starting with this, I'm going to duplicate the CC smear and I'll select it, press Command Z to duplicate it. For the second effect, I'm just going to reposition it under another letter. Let's say, for example, under this letter I here. But I'll move my playhead somewhere around here. So I'll see how the effect is taking place. And I reposition this to make sure that it's straight or directly under the letter I. Same thing, I'm going to duplicate it again. Then I reposition it under let's say the letter D so that it will be really random. And again, I'm going to duplicate it for the last letter, which is the letter P. And I reposition it here. The same thing, reposition this other handle. After adding all of the effects to the individual letters, I'm going to press U so that all of the keyframes will be visible enough. Then I'll select some set of keyframes and I'll just offset them so that the animation does not take place immediately or at once. It should take place one after another. So it should have some randomness to it or some kind of uniqueness. So when I play this, you see that it drops one after the other. To spice this up, I'm going to duplicate the text and add in some extra colors to it. So I'll press U to cover up the keyframes or to hide the keyframes. Then I'll press Command Z to duplicate these. So I'm going to create three duplicates of it. Then I'll offset these by three frames. So what I'm going to do is I'll hold the Command key, then I'll press my right arrow key three times to move three frames ahead. And I'm going to do it with all of the duplicated layers. After offsetting all of the layers, I'll select the first layer, go to my character panel, then I'll change the color. So let's say for example, I'll start with the color red here, and I like this saturation, so I'm just going to copy this color, or this hex code, then I'll paste it here. I want to paste it here, I'm going to change the hue value to let's say green or something. You can play around with any color that works for you. Same thing here and change the saturation, let's say blue or something. So let me play this now. You now see that the effect starts taking place on top of all of the characters, but I don't want that. I want it to take place just below here, that's where the text is dripping. And to achieve that, I'll select these three top layers, right click on it, then I'll go to pre-compose. Then I'll just call it drip animation. Then with my shape tool selected, I'm going to create a shape Let's say covering just this bottom part. Let me zoom out and adjust this. I'm going to change my track mid value of my pre-composed layer to alpha mid. And this dripping text animation will be visible only where that shape was found. So let me play this again. You see that one of the text is still visible, which is this here. I'm going to change this last text so that this uh, little portion below match up with this so i know that it ends with an orange color then i hit on ok so when i play this again you see how it animates and that's it for today's video hope you found it useful and interesting to implement what you learned in this video and leave your feedback down in the comment section below and over there you always reach your comments don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and like the video to support the channel growth 
Thanks for watching and until the next one, keep editing.